So in this talk, I'm going to give a generic idea behind the definition of separately continuous function with the general definition at a point. So f is a function of more than one variable. One of the inputs to f is x. So f is a function of x and other variables. And now I've fixed a point in the domain of f. Let me just write that down clearly. So basically this is a point in the domain of f basically involves specifying the x value to be some number x naught and also specifying the values of the other variables. Okay. Now we say that f is continuous in I say in or with respect to x at this point if if the function which sends x to f at x and the fixed values of the other variables of the other variables is continuous at x equals x naught. So intuitively what's happening is, is the following. I'm saying that this is a function of many variables. I'm now looking at a particular point. So I fixed the x value and I fixed the values of the other variables. And I want to say the function is continuous at this point if uh, if that if this new function is, is continuous in x at this point, so in 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 the variable or relative to this variable at this point, if the new function which just sends this particular input to f at this input and the fixed values of the others, so all the other inputs I'm fixing and x is the only one I'm varying, if that function is continuous at x equals x naught. So basically it's just saying basically that at this point if I just move x and keep the other variables fixed, is that going is that is that change continuous in x at this point? That's all this is saying. Now we say that f is separately continuous in all the variables continuous at a point in in all variables what do you think that would be hmm uh this means you pick a point, you pick a variable among all and fix others is continuous at that point. Continuous in that variable, but that should be true for each variable. Yeah. Okay. So for if, if it's a function of five variables, you saying it's separately continuous in all variables means that for each one of the five variables, it satisfies this definition above. So what it's saying is, if you change any one variable slightly, whichever one variable it is, if you change any one variable slightly and keep all the others constant, that change, the, the function change is continuous with respect to each variable separately. Each variable at the point by the above definition. By this definition, right? So separate continuity, I'm say, isn't that the same as continuous? I mean, continuous means it's continuous in all variables. Separate continuous really saying you're only changing one variable at a time. And if you only change one variable at a time relative to the point you're at, then it's continuous with respect to that variable change. We'll see other forms of the definition in, in future videos. Should make this clearer.